is Lori and she's 58 years old and 14 years ago she had surgery, gastric bypass, which it, it was incredibly and she lost a ton of weight um, because of it. But one of the things that's happened with the surgery and from natural aging is she's lost most of her natural fat in her, in her face. So this area right here, where you can see my fingers rocking into it, it's called the malar fat pad. And literally Lori has lost most of that apple of her cheek or that fat pad, giving her face a very drawn down look and, and very hollow and gaunt. And also this area here becomes sort of a rollover because of the loss here and she's not getting that area held back. The other area that Lori has that is a loss is right here, this lower part of her jowls. So as we age, another big area where you'll lose that along that jawline is, in, I can feel like there's a hole right there. So these areas today we're going to restore and give her that instant sort of uh, lift. We're going to be using a combination of two products, Radius and Restylane. So I like to use Restylane up along the eyes. It's very forgiving. Um, you can mold it. And, and then the Radius I'm going to use in the cheeks. It's thicker. It has some really good stability to it and it'll, it'll give that really nice lift for you. I like to start at the top and put a little Restylane at the top. So I'm going to touch your face. I've already pre numbed Lori and alcohol and prepped the area and there's lidocaine in the syringe of Restylane as well so she'll virtually have no pain. Stay nice and still, here we go. I use the Malar Prominence as my anchor. I feel it gives a very natural restored look and it makes the cheek real smooth. So I'm introducing the product underneath her skin, and as I do, I'm going to pull back, give it a nice, good, even thread. Without taking out my needle, I'm going to go down and do that again. Again, I'm using Restylane at the top. I feel like it's safer and smoother. Okay, needles out. So that's a half a syringe of the Restylane. How are you doing? I'm great. Good. Even just a half a syringe, you can already tell we've got a little bit of a lift there. So now I'm going to take Radius, the thicker product, and build again some more structure. So head back, eyes closed, chin down. Good. Stay nice and still. I'm going to touch your face. And here's a little poke. Again, I'm going to go back into that entry of that Malar prominence. I love that using that as an anchor. Products will settle, and when they do settle, they tend to to drop down a little bit, so bringing it up a little bit higher and anticipating the settling is a good idea. Um, Restylane takes approximately three weeks to settle and Radius four, so I generally won't re-inject an area unless we've waited it out on the settling. How are you doing on pain? Oh, I don't feel anything. I, I'm very comfortable. Good. And this is Lori's first time ever being injected too, so Good topical numbing and a little bit of lidocaine in the syringes does tremendous help. So with the threads in there, I like to mold it and just make sure that it, it feels real seamless, like there isn't any big clumping of product under the skin. And I also like to hold this a lot. I, I don't want to let release that and then you know, have a lot of extra swelling or bruising, so I like to hold that as well. And you can see, just from one syringe of radius and a half a syringe of rustling at the top, we are already getting a pretty profound difference here. So now what I want to do is I want to come down right here and actually soften a little bit, because I want the top to also match the bottom of her face and not leave her too cheeky. So we're going to come right here and give you a little softening, okay? Just relax your mouth. When using radius in this area, you don't have a lot of depth with it, so you don't want to get, you know, put too much. Don't get crazy. Um, just do a little, little bit of softening. You can always come back with, with some rustling and fine tune the little, some little lines. 
but I've seen people get a little overdone in this area and where it you know ends up not looking natural after about the four weeks Lori will actually come back to me and we'll see how this is settled she may possibly need a little bit more up along the eyes you know maybe a, a tiny bit more in the cheek or on the nasolabial fold so it, it should be a two-part process um, I, I call it the cake and then frosting the cake when the cake is settled um, I, I feel like that's important to, to keep it really natural looking there's nothing worse than having it overdone and then you're stuck with the product and, and you, you can't take it out so here we are a syringe of radius half a syringe of rustolin and approximately a half a syringe of radius down on this lower and you can see already we've got pretty good transformation on Lori's face this side as if it's coming down more jolly here's the big hole of the malar that I've restored an instant instant results wait till you see it yes take a look Oh my goodness! Wow! There's the cheekbones again. And look! Here's your cheekbones. They're here, but you don't see them oh, because of all wow. the volume loss there. You've got your cheek there. Oh my gosh, I do! So, I'm going to soften a little bit in here as well, but unbelievable. Wow! Yay!